going to some quick um, comments on the rate of growth in COVID numbers in Australia. Um, from this period onwards, when it starts to pick up from 200,000, you'll see the curve is basically an, an exponential curve. Yeah, it's increasing very quickly, but seems to have slowed down and become like um, a linear or even bending slightly to the right, not much. But um, between the 31st of December, where the total number of infected was uh, 400,000, to the middle of January, where it's 1.6 million, it's multiplied roughly by a factor of four. So if it's exponential growth, it'll be four times this. So the end of January, will either have um, um, four times that is uh, 6.4 million, maybe 6.5, if you include all these other little figures in there. So about 6.4 million uh, people will be infected in Australia by the end of January if it's exponential growth. If it's linear growth, even though it was exponential growth, it's been slowing down here, not because of lockdown, uh, like government lockdown, but people have been more cautious and they're staying home. So this is like a self-imposed people's lockdown. It has slowed this down so that overall from there to there, you may consider it as being uh, linear. And if it's linear, it went from um, um, 400,000 to 1.6 million. It's gone up 1.2 million. So by the end of January, if it's linear, we'll have 1.2 plus 1.6, so we'll roughly have about 1.28, maybe 1.29 million people are infected. So on, on those two extremes, we know that by the end of January, we'll have either 2.8 or 2.9 million, million infected people with COVID or we'll have up to 6.4, 6.5 million. That's a pretty big range. Um, also, I would say that there are actually probably more people infected uh, because so many are vaccinated. They may not have any uh, symptoms or very mild ones. A lot of people will probably not even worry about getting uh, like tested. Um, a lot of people are kind of a bit crazy about it. I mean, you know, like if you've got mild symptoms, you never worry about it really. Uh, just, just some stay at home, you know, it's just common sense. But people are in a real sort of panic. Um, so it could be like more on the bottom extreme, around 2.8 million. And if it keeps at that rate, it will be 5 million at the end of February. If it's exponential growth, uh, it could be anywhere like 100 million by the end of February, which means that all of Australia would have encountered the Omicron variant. So that's something to keep in mind. 